Okay, happy dog farm here today. Um, today's another um, product demo endorsement. Uh, if you have a Fimco sprayer, you know, that's got the electric motor on it, the electric pump, you know, and I know, that you got what was available and affordable. But you also know it's really not great. It's good enough, maybe. Okay. You know, especially is the way they have you regulate the pressure is you're just putting a bypass valve back into the tank, right back down there, and it's kind of lousy. It really doesn't work very well. So I can't really depend on that because I calculate in advance how much spray I need and how long to stay on each tree, whether it's for a ground application or for a foliar application, so I get an idea of how much volume I'm putting out. I use, got a whole bunch of them here, I use T-Jet tips, and those tips are calibrated that at a given pressure, they're gonna put out so much fluid, and they're spot on, you know, it's great. I also use their uh, filters to keep the tips from clogging. And the Fimco as delivered solution was irritating me. So I started looking around and I found this great product from, yeah, T-Jet. T-Jet makes a pressure regulator that is actually ideal, if not intended for, these entry level sprayers. Not the little tiny home and garden thing, but something where you might have a circulating in the tank and the like. And if you look at my earlier videos, you'll notice that I, I put in a special jet there so I get real circulation. These regulators are great. And you can see how they install. All right, so where they might have had, they being Fimco, may have had their little bypass valve, you put the regulator in. It's got a fitting on here in case you need to put your, a pressure gauge there in case you don't have the luxury of one already here. It's set up for it. You dial in your pressure and you're good to go. Now, here's the thing. When I got my first one, things didn't work as sweetly as I hoped it would. And I called the customer support people at Spraying Solutions, I think it is. Is there a Spraying Systems company? That's the parent. But I got a really knowledgeable service support person who walked me through the problem. And the problem was I have too much back pressure by this little uh, inductor alone. Too much back pressure made it difficult for this to regulate. Now, so I put a second hose on that goes around to the drain plug. And that the excess bypass goes through there and it also promotes some circulation. I'm not complaining. It's fine. It drips. It needs tape. But that's okay. It's water in the tank right now. Okay, so what I do is I open both these valves all the way. Turn on the motor. And I set this for 40 PSI. Then I start closing one. And I'll see my pressure gauge go up. And I adjust this accordingly. The proof in the pudding is when you squeeze the trigger on your wand. And I'm going to turn this on in a moment. It's gonna get a little loud. But you're gonna see how little that pressure varies between circulating and I squeeze the trigger. Because what happens is when I squeeze the trigger, it diverts less uh, spray, less fluid is, di less, is diverted away from the uh, tank and it goes up to the wand, but it keeps the pressure constant. Now, here's the kicker before I do that. There are two models. I'll show you the box. Okay. You have a 120, you have a 60 PSI model and a 150 PSI model. My ideal working pressure is 40 PSI for the pump I'm using, what I'm doing, the volume I use, yeah. And I have half inch threads, that doesn't matter here or there. You really want to pick the model where your pressure is close to the middle of the range of the regulator. 
So the 150 PSI model had a really hard time regulating tight and I had to fiddle with it a lot. And although it was much better than before, it wasn't perfect. t -Jack hooked me up with the 60 PSI model. Uh, it's sweet, people. It's sweet. I really like it. So I'm going to turn this thing on, make a lot of noise, and uh, we'll all get smarter about it. Yeah, I use my eBay power supply here. I'm going to get loud. Oh, come on. All right. I might be able to hear it, I can feel it, the agitator going. Uh, wand off, wand on. Wand off, wand on. That is some nice regulation. So I set it for 40 when the wand is on. And I can, I can hear the motor changing pitch. I can hear the circulator changing pitch. And I just ate some air there. But it's a really nice little product. Mine, I'm going to turn this thing off because it's loud, but the 60 PSI unit is working great for me running at 40 PSI for the volume I've got. So yeah, seriously, if you need to regulate your low volume sprayer, okay, your little baby one because you're not a big operation with a 100 gallon tank or 500 gallon tank, this is 40. Get yourself one of these. Don't tolerate, don't put up. Don't endure the minimalist what you got. Put this in the mix. Um, also, I do recommend the T-Jet tips because you can download the, the calibration chart. It gives you the angle, gives you the volume and pressure. Um, and that helps you not only how much spray are you putting down, help you predicting drift, uh, help making sure that this, the droplet size is appropriate for what you're applying. Do you want big fat drops? Do you want a mist? It's up to you, what matters. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. This is a T-Jet model 23120. And if you go to their website, you look it up, you'll see how the part number is built to get you either a 60 PSI or 150 PSI model. The 150 model I got was through Amazon, the mother load, mothership. Um, they help they hooked me up with this one but the 60 psi models are certainly out there um, and you should be able to get one they're very reasonably priced I'm not going to quote a price but I was really tickled uh, this is not a paid endorsement but I do confess I did get a regulator from them to help me correct the problem I had but they threw in the bonus I got the hat man I got the hat so I'm like really I'm really digging it I gotta check something really quickly here it's a great hat. I'm, I'm digging it. So I have my T-Jet hat now. You know I don't usually wear hats. So, T-Jet model 23120 pressure relief valve. Your Fimco really needs it. Do yourself a favor. Get some uh, accuracy. Get some precision in your spraying. You'll be much better off for it. Okay, that's all she wrote. Bye-bye.